Hi, my name is Dr. Teresia Wangare Kanyebe. I am a dentist with special interest in pediatric dentistry and orthodontics. I am the owner and practicing dentist at Smiles and Greens, which is on Feruzi Towers, Kiambu Road. And today we're going to talk about dental braces. Braces are not without their complications. So one of the biggest risks that we have when you have braces in the mouth is that you will have some uh, degree of eating away of the roots at the bottom, what we call the root resorption. It comes just by the nature of using some force to move the teeth. Uh, one of the things that the orthodontist or orthodentist is going to do as they do your treatment, they're going to use as low forces as possible to reduce the amount of eating away, resorption of the roots that is going to happen. Another complication of braces is that they're usually placed on the front side of the teeth. So especially for a patient who doesn't have the optimum oral hygiene, we tend to get some change of color on that front surface of the tooth. And that is a major concern because you're trying to make the smile look beautiful. So if you add any changes in the color of the tooth, any brownish discolorations, it becomes a problem. Another common complication we have is gum disease. Usually because the, the, the surface that the brace is attached on, around it, there is a tendency for plaque to accumulate in that area, which can irritate the gums and that would give you quite some gum disease. That can easily be mitigated by making sure, apart from the braces treatment that you're getting, you have your hygiene treatments, that is your dental scaling and prophylaxis every six months, even when you're having your braces being done. Uh, another complication we sometimes have during braces is the, especially when you're removing the braces, sometimes you may end up having a rough surface on the front side of the tooth which is a problem, but as your dentist removes them, they are careful to clean out all the cement that would be there. Uh, for some patients, you do get that along uh, as the treatment is going on, some braces get loose, some wires will poke the gums on your cheeks. Um, and in the process of all that, yes, we do uh, give either wax to place on the wires, or you go back for your refixing if anything is loose. Another thing that could go wrong is that you may not be 100% satisfied with the results of your treatment. That is because not everyone responds in the same way to having the same treatment done. So there'd be somebody who'd get the perfect smile using the conventional aligning methods and someone will have a few things that are still off, maybe a tooth is still a little higher, another one is not in the perfect space. There are post-treatment options to take care of that as well. In rare cases, in rare cases, you may get um, a flare up especially if you had um, injury to the tooth in form of trauma when you were younger. There are cases that just placing the braces on the teeth and adding a force on the teeth now makes um, that tooth have pain, so you might end up having some root canal treatments done. In rare cases also, if the oral hygiene is really bad, we do get cavities on, the, on those teeth where the braces are, and also sometimes in between the teeth because braces make it a little more difficult to be able to do the conventional flossing that we do when we're cleaning our regular teeth. Another very important complication to remember is that teeth have a tendency to go back from where they came from. And because of that, we usually have what we call relapse. Yeah, and how we need to get that is by making sure your retainer phase, after the braces have been removed, that is not the end of your braces treatment. Make sure you follow your dentist's instructions on how to retain what you've already gotten. Also, as we're doing the treatment, we tend to overcorrect. So if we wanted to move your teeth uh, by a particular degree backwards, we do it a few more millimeters backwards so that as they go back to where they were, now we get them going into the perfect uh, alignment that you would like. Then another complication we sometimes get, as braces are being done, the positioning of your teeth will always affect the positioning of your lips and how your face looks like. So sometimes as you move the teeth back, as you do things like that, you may end up having a flat-ish looking face, which is sometimes not very aesthetic for some people. But generally, your dentist should be able to inform you of all the possible complications, all the risks, how to reduce them before the start of your treatment. Thank you for joining us in this discussion. You can book our services at ponea.com. We look forward to engaging with you more in our coming episodes.